Hey YouTube, BB here, and welcome to another episode of Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. I hope you guys all had a wonderful turkey day if you celebrate. I did. My family got together. It was fantastic. So, without further ado, let's jump in and see what happens next. All right, we are back on the Citadel. We still need to check on Caden, and we need to go to talk to the Council to have them help us with the Reapers. Um, oh, there's one of the, I always forget their names. What are you? Is the game going to tell me? Oh, I don't remember what your name is. Anybody in the comments, let me know what these guys are called again. I can't remember. What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I don't have the greatest track record with reporters. <laughs> I know, and it hasn't exactly endured you to a galactic audience, but that can change. I'm a military reporter with a show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Uh, Why no. would I want that? Yeah. Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that, or do I keep looking? I don't want to deal with a reporter because I always screw up. Uh... No, I don't, I don't want to deal with a reporter. I don't know if that's stupid or bad choice on my part, but I don't want to. You're a reporter. I command a stealth ship. The two don't mix. Well, I guess you'll have to win support on your own then. Guess so. <sighs> okay, so we need to go to Med Bay. Elevator going. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select the destination. Oh, so I wonder. Okay, <laughs> so if I pick the tag of interest to you, hospital, on the elevator menu. that was very convenient, by the way. Thank you, game, for doing that to, for me. Um, if I go to Caden first, is that gonna screw shit up for him, the Citadel, or? Mm, Okay. Can I please see Caden? There we go. Oh, he's got his shirt off. Caden? God. It's hard seeing you like this. Don't know if you can hear me, but since you can't tell me to get the hell out either, I'm gonna take my chances. Don't die, Caden. You've got to fight. We need you in this. Seeing you in action again. Finding me, you're a hell of a soldier. The Alliance could sure use you. I could use you. If you need anything, Doc, let me know. That's an order. <laughs> okay. Well, we had our moment. I guess let's go to the Citadel now. Wait a minute. Why are we supposed to see Dr. Chakwas? Is in the lounge? Wait, what? Where is she? Oh, 
Here's Shepard now. <gasps> Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shouter Wards, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with a Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Caden took the worst of it. How is he doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Major Elenko's resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. Um, it's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes, though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word, and I'm with you. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Yay! Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker's still aboard. <laughs> and I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. Yay! Oh, I'm so glad I talked to her. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so where is the doctor that's been working on... Caden. This Commander must... Shepard, yes. good to see you. Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I'm med physician in a Presidium clinic. You gave me this chance. Aww. I assume you're here about Major Alenko. How is Caden doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. He hasn't regained consciousness yet, but his vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. Okay. You can go see him if you like. He's just down the hall. This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital on the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already begun. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. Okay. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. Cool. All right, now... We are headed to the Citadel. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select or not the Citadel. <laughs> the um embassies. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Commander, Councillor Odina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. Okay. I hope that me going to Caden first was not a... We've got our own problems, Counselor. Big deal. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. God, they're so ignorant. The reports seemingly... are accurate. Earth was attacked by the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. Oh. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Wow. Well, Even well, if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. 
the scales. It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hackett. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculation suggests it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? Do you have a better plan? <laughs> Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And while I haven't always agreed with Udina, he's right about this. We need to stand together, now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop it, Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. Don't shake your head. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Shepard, meet me in my office. Oh my god. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. Holy shit. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the Council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared. And we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. Oh, I'm listening. Primarch Fedorian called the War Summit, but we lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavin. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Fedorian undetected. So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war, and you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? <laughs> our latest Oof. intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavin's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. And various resources will be made available to you. Oh, Good well, day. I mean, that's something, I guess. Wow. <laughs> that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others <sighs> in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. Well, okay. That didn't go as positively as we had hoped. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jalani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? <laughs> I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. <laughs> Commander Shepard? Commander, humanity has questions. Damn press. <laughs> so you're keeping the peace? Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. If you didn't want to be up, why do you accept? You don't say no to Counselor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. 
<laughs> I know, squeaky wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. I'm not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Don't lose your edge. You might need it. Oh, wouldn't mind an excuse to get my fingers dirty. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. Yeah. Oof. Okay. Great, the freaking news person is with James now. Commander Shepard. Commander, the people of the Alliance have questions. Commander Shepard. Kalisa been seen in Al Jelani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect from- I've had enough of your tabloid journalism. Not this time, you military thug! Oh, I was missed uh, it. On second thought, never mind. I don't have any more questions for you. Aw, I missed the second prompt. I didn't know there was gonna be a second prompt. Well, that sucks. I just got bested by a reporter. Hey, Commander. Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping us. Something like that. <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. I take it this is your first time here with the elite of the galaxy. I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful. But it's not right. It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful. Once. But was it? Really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Oh, but don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this than face the truth. I can hardly believe it myself. Like everything back on Earth was some kind of nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I hate most. It's like this place wants you to forget that. So... You still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... But? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're going to have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. <laughs> and I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm going to head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. All Maybe right. I'll do that. I mean, we really don't have any spare time, but... Corian Fleet Intel? Corian Pilgrim Jen Volan Narnima on the Citadel received a large credit transfer from the fleet, uh, purchased tech including high end weapon mounts and kinetic barrier emitters from several ship services service centers. Okay. Uh, on Ilium, another Quarian pilgrim unidentified was observed searching for a ship traveling uh, close to the Perseus Vale. The pilgrim was later heard saying that his pilgrimage was recalled. Data suggests the Quarian fleet is withdrawing its pilgrims and upgrading ships for combat somewhere near the Perseus Vale. This could be a reaction to the Reaper invasion. But no formal offer or request for assistance has come. Intel suggests the Quarians may instead be preparing for conflict with the Geth. Interesting. 
Ooh. I don't have enough money for nothing. <laughs> Crap. Dang. All right. Shopaholic. <laughs> nice. Shooting range? No. Okay, so this this is on, our only um, what we have to do, I guess. I can't go see Caden again. He's just going to stay here and get better, I guess. So we need to go on the Normandy and go to Palavin, I guess. I don't know what else to do. I've been on all floors and talked to everybody. I think. Let me make sure I have... I've spoken to everybody down here. I mean, I haven't talked to Avina, but she's just the person that says about Citadel stuff. Okay, let's just go. Creepy. Am I dreaming? I must be dreaming. I'm assuming this is Earth. Oh, that's the little boy. Um, I can't run. That had the airplane, or the airplane, the spaceship. I'm assuming I'm supposed to follow him. I'm stuck in slow motion. I can't all run. Ayara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. Hmm. I know. Are you alright? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? Caden almost died on Mars. People around me have a tendency to get hurt. Or worse. Caden's a soldier. He knows the risks, as do you. And he's a fighter. He'll pull through. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg oh. your pardon. <laughs> I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? 
The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. The only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. <laughs> Jeff requested that I pretend to be Jeff. a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... Mm, attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? <laughs> I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. Right. The war room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on deck three. I think she's claimed that room. And there we are. <laughs> Still the same ship as before. It just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCon. Okay. Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. Okay, what about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. Oh, I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Uh, Intel monitor... Armor mod kit. Interesting. All right, so I probably should look at the things that I picked up, if any, um, and add them if, if this is like two in that respect. Um, I probably should acquaint myself a little bit with some of this. War assets. The people, weapons, armies, and fleets that you've accumulated are your war assets. The overall readiness of the galaxy determines how effectively these assets will perform in the final battle. Okay. Okay, I do want to go to my room and see if I can change my outfit because I do not like this one. And that's, you know, so important. <laughs> so very, very important. Okay, this is like a meeting room. Apparently I have an aquarium. I'm, I'm a little hesitant to buy fish. 
I'll look at my private terminal here in a second. Um, casual. I, I don't like. Okay, this is Arma. Casual. Okay, that's better than the other. No. Um, oh, look at me in my jumper. Oh my goodness. No. I don't like that one. That's Admiral Apparel, it seems like. This one, I guess? This one's better. Okay, armor set. Uh, so either just Cerberus or this one will stay there. Um, the material. I don't know what the difference is. How shiny it is. Pattern color. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Tint. I mean, black is cool. Tint two. Yeah, let's keep the tints. Lights. <gasps> pink. Pink lights. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, no helmet. Ooh, I like that one better, I think. Yeah. Um, let's look at the pattern one more time now that we have got the right colors. Ooh, um, yeah, let's keep that. Okay, so save and exit. There we go. We look a lot better in this outfit. I didn't like the other one. I don't know why. I just don't. All right, let's see what we've got on our terminal. Oh my, okay. Um, special Ops. Shepard, Alliance forces are stretched thin across the galaxy. We need your specific talents for a series of Ops. These missions will open doors for the Alliance in places we can't touch through conventional means. We'll deploy oper operatives to hold points point after you've completed your objectives. I need you to head to, Cerberus, to a Cerberus lab on the planet Sanctum. I'll brief you when you're inbound. Hackett. Um, from Hackett, this letter formally acknowledges your reinstatement into the Alliance Navy per Admiral David Anderson's recent verbal communication under emergency war powers regulation, blah, blah, blah. You are hereby authorized to assume command of the Normandy. You are directed to begin inter interdiction operations against any and all enemies opposing a threat to Earth, its colonies, and its allies. Further, furthermore, you are granted dipl diplomatic authority to establish treaties with non-human races as required to support our mission. That's not what I meant to do. Um, emergency flash traffic urgent. All Alliance military personnel. This is a galaxy-wide alert for all human territories. Fleet Admiral Hackett has declared threat conditions Sabre 1. Enemy presence confirmed in Sol system. Earth under Reaper attack. All Alliance military personnel are directed to evacuate Sol system. At first available opportunity, do not attempt each Earth Attempt Earth approach. Heavy enemy resistance reported. Repeat. Do not attempt to come to Earth. Blah, blah, blah. My dog, dear Shepherd, I was a contractor working on the Normandy's heptic interface when it was in dry dock. Your VI, Edie, emailed me to let me know I left my dog mech on board. 
I'm all the way out in Terra Nova now and would hate for you to go a million clicks out of your way to drop off my dog. Please just take care of her. She likes exploring sniffing chemical trails and 750 volt outlets. Thank you and sorry for the trouble. I promise she won't be too much of a headache. Andrea Brown. I have a puppy. I have an electrical puppy. Where is this dog? I want to see him or her. Alliance News Network Information Partners. Citadel, where is the Quarian fleet? Where is the Quarian fleet? The latest intelligence shows that the Reapers are taking system after system at a feverish pace. Members of all races are fleeing their stations, colonies, and in some cases, their home worlds. This kind of forced exodus might seem especially familiar to the nomadic Quarians who were pushed off their homeworld by the synthetic Geth centuries ago. But as the galaxy pushes back against the Reapers, the Quarians are conspicuously absent. Turian and Alliance spokespeople cannot provide the fleet's current location. They say they have other concerns at the moment. Whatever the Quarians are up to, they want it kept secret from the Council. After a refueling stop at Ilium, the fleet left no stated destination, and there are also reports of a galaxy-wide call for all young adult Quarians to abandon their pilgrimages to join, rejoin the fleet. Greedy and short-sighted powers will always try to gain the upper hand in times of galactic crisis. We can only hope that whatever the Quarians are planning does not interfere with the only thing that should matter, stopping the Reapers. Oh my, okay. Welcome back, Gift. It's from Edie. While we were in dry dock, Joker suggested that a small welcoming gift would be appropriate to have on hand should you be reinstated as commanding officer. As the ship does not have the capacity to accommodate the dancers, he suggested. <laughs> I chose something from the Official Systems Alliance catalog. Soldiers who have held an N7 designation for five years or more are entitled to a commemorative hooded jacket for wear on off-duty hours. You will find it among the section of casual clothing in your cabin. Okay, we've already seen that. Oh, keep doing that. Okay. Um, did I read all these? I guess I did. I have an upgrade waiting from Glyph. Uh, some of the data you found allowed me to research an upgrade for you. Simply access the terminal in Dr. Tassoni's office at your convenience, and you may choose how and when to implement it. Have a pleasant day. Okay, so we, that's where we go for upgrades, I guess. Eden Prime. Cerberus has attacked Eden Prime and is now occupying the colony. Alliance forces are stretched too thin right now to attempt to liberate the colony, but we've been doing what we can to covertly aid the local resistance. In the process, we've learned that Cerberus has uncovered a major Prothean artifact. I'm sorry. <laughs> we don't know what it is, but it appears to be the rest, the reason for the attack on the colony. We need you to infiltrate the colony and recover the artifact. Okay. Okay, the doctor's here, so we'll let's say a hi to her. Commander. Everything okay down here, doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Good. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. I mean, okay. Expensive stuff bringing me back. And worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay. I guess the checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. Good. Your implants are showing little sign of rejection. Just keep up that positive outlook of yours, Commander, and your scars shouldn't return. That's it. You're the picture of health. How's your inventory of meds? 
The med bay was fully stocked before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time. Good. Even given the amount of fire you take each day. Mm. Do you ever regret working for Cerberus? We didn't work for them. We used them. If I were to feel anything, it would be guilt. We took their money, took their best people, took their best ship. We used them to defeat the Collectors, and now we are using their resources against them. There we go. Just to know, I don't regret it one bit. <laughs> you never mentioned any of your family. None to speak of, really. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professionals. The Alliance is my spouse, and you're all my children. I'm blessed with many close friends. But with each Alliance vessel taken, I lose one or two. Hmm. We need to end this war. Yes, yes, we do. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. All right. Cool. Oh, this is the thingy. The, the thingy. That's where Legion used to live. What's that? Bonus powers. Conversations with your companions unlock bonus powers. Interesting. Okay. Oh, my lord. Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Broker's ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph instead of Info Drone. Oh! 95% of the time. Okay, Glyph. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. Perfect. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. Perfect. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Okay. Meeting with the council didn't go too well, huh? It was less than ideal. Yeah, I'm shocked. At least the council can't deny the Reapers exist. But I'm not sure how much comfort that is while they bicker over which portion of the galaxy to save. I'm like flattered, it. I think. <laughs> okay, armor mod kit. Ammo capacity or shield strength bonus. I'm a... Shield. Okay. Cool. Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Do the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. People were finally starting to listen before the Reapers came. If we'd had a little more time, maybe Earth wouldn't. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. The thought means a lot, Liara. Thanks. You're welcome. And since I didn't mention it before, it's good to be back, Shepard. All right, Liara. We have a shield strength bonus that we did. And... Broker terminal. This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Nice. Prothean notes. 
Glyph, remind me to clean up these old notes. Perhaps reviewing them will lead to something useful for the Prothean device, the Ara. Okay. Um, the University of Ceres agreed to sponsor me at the Prothean dig on Dread Dread the rope. <laughs> Very exciting. Professional Hanel, Hanel is heading the expedition herself. Okay. Goddess, this human, Shepard, has the key to comprehending the Protheans on an instinctual, subconscious level. If only I could have been there. When the commander touched the beacon on Eden Prime, I'll try to learn more about that. this cipher on board the Normandy. The involvement of the Reapers is troubling, to say the least. Paper on the end of the Prothean Empire with correction notes. I reviewed the old Shadow Brokers footage of the Collectors. It's chilling to know that they're the Protheans' husks. At least nothing sentient could possibly remain after what the Reapers did to them. Okay, messages from Operative Farron to the Broker. I made contact with Tazik <clears throat> yesterday. The, the look on his face was priceless. He's not happy you put me in charge of scouting the Terminus systems, but he's doing a good job of keeping us alive. I've never seen so many pirates and mercs on edge. The black market's unreliable, and it's getting harder to make contact with suppliers. The Alliance won't be able to rely on it as a source of crucible materials for long. If things get worse, some of the other operatives think we should cut our losses now. But I just keep asking them. When did the odds ever stop the broker? Farron. P.S. I hope you finally got our little friend Drony to stop saying shadow and broker at la out loud in the same sentence to anyone in sight. <laughs> Engineer Adams. Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the drive core retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you, and I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. I mean, also, as an officer of can't the really Alliance, blame him. I don't just leave my post, you know? Your Alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. Good. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up? It blows the old ship away. The nice. Tantalus drive core has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would bend into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. Damn. Do your job or get vaporized. Jeez. Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means? We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. Nice. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw through seen her hardware 
processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her. And in time, I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Oh. All right. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, ma'am. Okay, this is the shuttle bay. This is, that's James, looks like. Oh, there's the dog. Okay. So I can redo my load out if I want and my outfit <laughs> weapon upgrades oh gosh okay oh we'll do this later I will do all that later alliance requisitions remote citadel access 10% markup Specter requisitions. Open store. Ah, I don't have the money. Okay. Oh, there he is. Stay. He didn't stay. He didn't learn. Listen, I mean. I want to say hi to you. Oh, puppy. What are you doing, James? Hey, Shepard. How'd it go with the castle? Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? Yep. We're going to rescue a Turian Primarch from Palavan. <sighs> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <sighs> you come down here for something? Or are you just looking? <sighs> I'm looking now. <laughs> I don't need a reason. Um, I don't want to flirt with him. It's my ship. I go where I want and talk to whoever I want. Fair enough. Not sure what there is to talk about. You already know my service record. I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. Well. Think you can dance and talk at the same time? Dance and talk? Oh, I can dance. What are we doing? Okay, I don't want to spar crap. Let's do this. <laughs> don't let my good looks fool you, Vega. I got my share of scars. <laughs> Please don't make me do a quick time yeah. event. Oh, yeah? And who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a Tony? bitch, but a good leader. Oh! <sighs> nice. I didn't mean to do that. What do you mean was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? I didn't mean to do that. Or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. Sorry. That's a tough call. The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire collector homeworld. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? Just a guess. Are you a shrink, too? No, but that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So, 
Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe... <clears throat> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war! Maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, Lola. Lola? Lola, huh? You kind of look like a Lola. <laughs> you're cute. So I'll let you get away with it. Well, that was interesting. All right, so I am sleeping. <laughs> oh, oh, he's so cute. I wonder if he's going to help us on missions. That would be awesome. He's super cute. All right. That is going to do it for today's episode. Sorry there wasn't a lot of action. It was a lot of talking and stuff. We still have a few people to talk to on the Normandy before we head out like Joker and things, but that won't take us very long next episode, and we will be on our way to our first mission to get friends to kill the Reapers. So, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future content, and it really helps me out, and um, don't forget to tick the notification bell so you know when I upload a video next, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!